So let's see how easy it is to submit your lab to GitHub Classroom and get instance feedback and grade for your submission. So to get started, I will install Git on a new Windows environment. And then I will set up Git um, for the first time on that environment. And then I will clone uh, the remote repository that we will be working on. And then we will be adding files, committing, and then pushing to the remote repositories. So let's go to gitforwindows.org and download Git from there. So let's open the installer. And then click next. Um, and these are the components. I'm going to select the defaults. So next. And then next, most of these options can be changed later, so we can keep the defaults. Um, um, here for the branch um, name, it says it defaults to master. Um, I think we need to change that, so let me go back. Um, um, here it says the default is master. Uh, we want to change this to main. Um, so let's select the second option, override the default branch name for new repositories and keep it main, next. And then just keep the default um, selections, next. Um, here for OpenSSH, we're not going to use um, OpenSSH. Um, we're going to use HTTPS for authenticating with Git, so I'm going to keep the defaults and click Next, and then um, I'm going to use the Git Credential Manager, so Next, um, and then Install. So this will launch um, Git. Or uh, so let me go to the search menu here and then type git bash we want to select git bash and then i'm going to run the command git minus minus version um, so we get the version no error that means the installation was successful so let's head over to github.com and create an account. All right, so that's my GitHub account. So now we can go to Git Bash and start configuring Git. So we'll type Git config minus minus global user dot name. And here I'm going to put my name.
and then run another config command this time get config minus minus global user dot email and I will put my github email So now let's go to the course website and go to lab one, the first lab, and then click on deliverable and submission. So deliverables and submission, and then select the link to your GitHub classroom um, for your section. Um, so uh, I'll assume I'm in section IT2, so I select on IT2 and then authorize GitHub Classroom to access my GitHub account. Uh, so they'll see my email address, so click authorize GitHub Classroom. Now I can see my uh, identifier, my name in the roster, so I'm going to match my name and map it to my github username so click ok and now we can see the first assignment so click accept and give it some time and then uh, we will reload the page So this basically will configure it um, just wait, wait um, give it a minute or two um, and then or a few seconds and then reload. So now we get the link to our private repository. Um, so this is the name of it is under the CPIT252 organization just um, lab1 minus, um, minus your username. All right. So dash your username. Um, and then I will copy the HTTPS URL to this repository because I will need to clone it. Cloning the repository means you're downloading the repository. So I'm going to go to my desktop here. Um, and then I will start running git clone to download this as a git project with all the history and then paste the URL to the repository. Again, this is done over HTTPS. Um, so once we run this, we will get cloning and now we're asked to authenticate with GitHub. So we'll click sign in with your browser. And now I want to authorize the Git Credential Manager. This program came with the installation of Git um, from Git for Windows.org. And then select Authorize All, Authorize Git um, um, Credentials to access my account. And now we should be authorized and it should download this private repository, the project, into my um, file system. So um, done successfully, great. Um, so now if I ls, I can see and uh, that this is the project lab one CPIT two five one user my username, um, which is here on my desktop. So if I open it, I can see all the files downloaded as a Git project. So I get all the history. Uh, for this repository included in my file system. So if I cd there, if I go inside um, this directory uh, and then do ls, I can see all the files, right? Um, so and now we can start working on this. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open IntelliJ IDEA. If you don't have it, uh, please install it. Um, uh, the community edition. So I'm going to open the project, give it the path, it's under my desktop, um, so give it the path um, and then open it. Um, so this is a Maven project, so it will download all the dependencies 
um, inside um, uh, that are declared in the palm.xml. So I will get JUnit, I will get all the dependencies. So give it some time until the download is complete. So now I'm getting an error here for um, the Java import statement. So if I hover, click more actions, uh, set up the JDK. Um, looks like I don't have a JDK installed here. So I'm going to download the JDK. Um, so click download JDK um, and select the JDK version um, that you want to use, right? Um, so here uh, I'm going to select um, uh, JDK 1.8 because this is the uh, for this uh, lab, it's the minimum JDK. Um, so when it's downloaded, that error um, has disappeared, right? So now we can start working. Um, on this um, uh, lab, so uh, here, this is lab one. We need to work lab one test, and we need to uh, complete the lab until all tests are passed. All right. Um, so running the test now, I completed the the lab, and then I run the test, and all the tests are green. Again, this is because I worked on the lab and I completed the tasks or the um, uh, um, tasks in this lab, and now. Uh, my implementation is correct and the tests are passing. So I need to push, um, commit, and then um, um, add, and then commit, and then push my changes to GitHub, all right? So to do this, um, first thing we need to do is we run the command git status. So before we run the command, um, we want to make sure that we are in the same directory. So I run the command pwd, which is present working directory. Um, so I am sitting in the same folder um, or directory that get in. So we run git status. Now we get all these files not added. So we need to add them to our local repository. So I'm going to add all the folder um, src under src main. So I run git add src main. All right. So this will add all these files under um, the directory, but not um, um, the, um, yeah, including the, um, the order, the Java class that I added, all right? So we run again, we add it, and now we are on git status. We got all the files added except um, um, the test file that I made changes to under src test java org example product test to java. So we also need to add this one. So I'm going to do git add src test um, and then give it the path to this file, right? Um, so just make sure when you run git status, you always, always um, adding all the files to your, um, uh, staging the files into your git repository. So now git status, we got them all. So I need to commit. Uh, commit is like saving into git. So commit minus m, I'm going to give it a message. Um, so this is just a message uh, for this snapshot. So completed lab one is my message. Now we commit it, right? So now we need to push to GitHub. So I say git push origin, which is GitHub. Main is the name of the branch on GitHub. So I push. And now we pushed the changes to GitHub. So if I go to github.com, um, and so this was the last commit. Um, that was automatically by GitHub Classroom, but if I reload, I should get my um, last commit message. Great. So now we um, made this. So let's go click on Actions and see if the auto-grading um, uh, completed. So it's still working. So this is uh, now it's complete and we got the green check mark. That means our test passed. So I should be able to see the grade. Um, so um, uh, click on that action and click on the auto grading and then select the um, third one I believe let's see if it's the second one um, run actions check out um, it should be the one run action auto grading all right so yeah uh, select on the third one um, and then scroll down uh, all the way down along this um, long list of log messages until you see the green check mark with pass. 
great so we got lab one green check mark here all tests passed and we got the grade the points 100 out of 100 all right so that's how auto grading works on um, github uh, classroom basically run the test and the test passed and then we get whatever scored um, uh, assigned for each test um, so that's that's it that's how you can submit your assignment to github classroom